What's up, guys? Jay, more than to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And if you're a Borderlands fan, this last past week has been a relatively crazy one. And if you're a Gearbox or 2K employee, this last past week has been a relatively stressful one. <laughs> With Gearbox and 2K embroiled amidst backlash surrounding the Borderlands live-action movie trailer, which was released earlier last week. With not just fans of the series critically lamb-blasting the trailer across social media platforms, but also receiving very negative feedback from average movie goers who have no idea what Borderlands is and are confused as to exactly what they're being shown and sold. However, there was a tiny beacon of hope. They damaged the beacon, repair it. This morning, when I was getting ready to go to sleep after streaming all night long, and I saw on Twitter that Jack Black was trending worldwide. Finally, some good news for Gearbox and 2K. Maybe we'll finally see some positive publicity for this movie. And it's just Jack Black singing some Britney Spears. In fact, Scrolling through the entire Twitter trend, Borderlands isn't even mentioned. Not once. So I decided to go and do some social media sleuthing to check these actors' social media profiles. And you want to know what, what I found out? Not one single big name in this movie is promoting the fact that they're in this movie. And considering that Ariana Greenblatt is posting about her recent appearance at the Screen Actors Guild Awards and is the only one actually excited to be featured and promote the Borderlands live action movie, you can't blame the SAG writers and actors strike, which also ended in November. In fact, the only time I can remember in recent years that any time any actor or actress hasn't promoted an upcoming movie was usually due to their own personal issues during the filming of the movie, or that they flat out don't want their fan base to know that they're in the film, taking roles just because of an inflated pay rate, even if the role isn't particularly to their liking. It's a very common practice in the film industry. And when we add to it, the fact that Randy Pitchford had nothing but awesome things to say about these actors and actresses, I'm going to assume that they just don't want anybody knowing that they're in these films. <laughs> but considering that Kevin Hart got paid $20 million for his role as Roland, in the Borderlands movie, you think that Gearbox and Lionsgate Studios would have added a press tour stipulation to his contract? I mean, the motherfuckers got like 30 million followers on Twitter. And the same for Jack Black right now, who's all over the media for his role in Kung Fu Panda doing the interview press circuit, and not once being asked or mentioning any upcoming voice acted roles. Which, you, you would think, 
in an interview for voice acting Kung Fu Panda that he'd want to take the opportunity to mention other voice acting roles that he's worked on. The fact that the interviewer isn't questioning Jack Black on these roles either leads me to believe that he's intentionally avoiding questions regarding Borderlands and instructing the interviewer prior to the interview on what he will and will not talk about during these interviews. It, it, it just seems like an incredibly troubling fact that Gearbox would spend more on these actors' payroll for this movie than they did for the entire budget of Borderlands 1 and 2 combined. And they're not even reaping any of the advertising benefits that these big name actors bring with them. It leads me to believe that they probably would have been better off spending less money on less known actors that are more committed to the roles and making sure the film is not just a critical but also a commercial success. So, my name is Jay. Morning after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you like thumb up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Personally, if if I was Gearbox, 2K, Lionsgate Studios right now, I, I I'd be I I'd be on speed dial, blowing up these actors and actresses, agents and social media right now, and I'd be like, hey, yeah, not really sure if y'all noticed, but we released a trailer for for that movie that. You, you, you know, we, we, we paid you millions of dollars to be in. It, it would be nice if we could get, like, a retweet. Maybe an at mention. Something? The, the fact that you have these incredibly famous actors not mentioning that they're in this movie during the big reveal just throws up huge red flags for me let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below my name's jay more than after kill thanks for watching and i'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later <gasps> 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 <gasps>